Hair application is not a new concept in the Reborning doll. Ashton Drake has been using it for quite a while, and they currently still use it with their play dolls. As, and it, um, what they do a little bit different is they will glue it down, as you can see here, and then they'll have the little ends flip up, and they're not, uh, they don't have any glue at all. So that is one uh, um, area you can uh, play around with with that concept. But uh, this, this part right in here is all glued down the same as what we're going to be showing you with uh, glue application on our Reborn dolls. So it just gives you a little bit of an idea of how it has been used in the past and uh, how you can uh, make it uh, work for you as well. Welcome. I'm going to show you here how I do applied hair on my Reborn. Uh, right now you will see I have a doll here that I've just put on the skin layers. There's no detail on there. Since I'm doing air dry, I can do my details later on. So I just want to make sure I've got the skin part on so that I can uh, do my applied hair for this video. My references, I have pictures usually of newborns and different hairstyles. Good idea for you to have as well. I'm using a chalk pencil basically here and I'm going to just draw some lines on there. They're just basically to show me the direction of the hair that I'm going to apply onto the hair, onto the uh, head uh, as I root. Um, there's really not a pattern here other than I'm starting as you see just at the back crown and making sure I have some curves in there that go with the hairstyle I'm thinking of. I also should say this chalk pencil is very easy to remove. Uh, it's not a permanent by any base, uh, just a uh, light rub will take the chalk off. I'm using uh, mohair here. It's just a kid mohair. Uh, I find the kid mohair is uh, good for uh, very fine hair in small dolls. And uh, I'm just showing you how um, basically I do some rooting. I sparsely root the hair for this small doll uh, with the style I want. And uh, I will uh, show you how I did that on another doll head here. So here's the doll head that I rooted. I have very short pieces that I use. I do glue the head or the hair in, put the glue inside to, to hold the hair because I tend to be a little bit rough when I do my styling after applying the hair glue and I don't want to pull it out. I want to guarantee it's going to stay in there as I kind of play with the styles. So I also have some various comb. Uh, the teeth are different widths. Uh, there's fine and there's a one that's very wide, uh, small uh, scissors, and a variety of other uh, scissors as well for hair cutting. So here I'm going to uh, try the uh, fine comb out. We're just going to uh, put it up so that I can catch the hairs a little easier for cutting. I kind of hold it upside down to see where the hairs are evening out. I'm going to try the broad comb here. I'm finding it's not picking up all the hairs, so that's not the right one for this doll. I'm going to apply the small tooth, and you see the fine uh, teeth on there are picking up the hair. You can hold it in place. I cut it very short for styling. And I will basically go around the whole doll this way. Uh, and as you watch, I'll probably quick paste this to get on to the next part but uh, this is one way that I, I like to cut it uh, it's fairly easy and uh, I'm not that great on judging uh, distance so I find when I have a mechanism such as a comb to hold the hair I know exactly how short I'm getting it and it's all evened out at the end
so I've seen a few little bald spots here that I don't like so I'm going to take some hair and uh, reapply some hair into those areas um, and then I'll uh, trim it up to the uh, same length as the other hair. The other hair is maybe about um, oh, about two or three centimeters long or in uh, uh, I guess you could say maybe about a quarter, an eighth to a quarter of an inch. It's very, very short, but I like it that way because you can style it, especially with the small doll head. Uh, you'll see that it uh, has some nice uh, areas that you can see the scalp through after I'm finished with the shorter hair and how nicely the uh, hair will style for you as you play with it. So at this stage I'm going to start applying the hair glue and you can see that I have cut back a toothbrush here because this is a, such a small head. I also have an eyebrow comb and brush that is uh, very useful, this small head, and I, too I had to cut it back uh, so I had some styling. I'm using the Ultimate Eyelash Glue here from Reborn FX. We don't need the tip, we just need to pour it into a container there and uh, apply it on with our brushes or you can use our already pre-made hair application medium which is exactly the same recipe as what I'm showing you here just a little more convenient for you to use and you should saturate it as much as you can start at the back of the crown when I do my styling I have this design in my mind to start with and as you can see there's uh, glue chunks that are kind of stuck at the very beginning but that's okay it's going to be brushed brushed through as you see as we go along I want that hair to soak in that glue that's the whole idea so you'll see me here playing around with the uh, glue and, and doing some styling tips and I'll speed this up a little bit as you can watch how I style. If it starts to uh, stick or stiffen up, just apply more glue on top. It seems to kind of loosen it back up. Uh, you have a bit of time. I'm working in a cool area, um, so I, I found I had lots of time to do the styles I wanted to uh, try out here. Um, but as I said, if it starts to not move and start to stiffen up, just um, apply more of the glue on top and it will work its way through. You also saw me there um, just getting rid of any residue in behind the ears or on the neck that pile up. We'll just clean that off and I use my little eyebrow um, brush there to get my little detail uh, styling in there at the ends.
So I'm pretty happy with this uh, hairstyle. You saw me uh, clean off any of the extra glue in behind the ears that, and on around the neck. Um, just a sponge will do, a damp sponge, and uh, we'll get most of that off for you. So I like this, so we'll go on to the next part now. In this session I'm going to show you another doll here that has already had the hair applied on and has dried. Uh, this is a doll that has very sparse hair and I want to add a little bit of texture into the areas that there are no hair uh, just to, to resemble some fine uh, what we call little baby fluff coming through the hair, growing through the hair. And what I've done here is I've taken some of the Reborn FX 3D and I've put in some of that into my Ultimate Eyelash Glue. Portions, oh, I'd say about uh, probably half and half. I find the 3D mixture is way too thick by itself, so by uh, putting some of the Ultimate Eyelash Glue into it, I found that I had a really nice texture that still uh, left uh, some grooves in that you're going to see me do for the hairlines. Uh, also, what I did there was I added a little bit of the... Um, uh, reflective gold in into there because this is this baby had blonde hair so I wanted a little bit of shine to come through there golden shine so uh, this was a little bit of an experiment that turned out really quite well in the end so here I am applying the uh, hair and I think what you have to remember when you're going to be doing this is uh, a you have to uh, have a small brush and, uh, and something that leaves the little grooves or designs of the hair so here I found that the uh, small tooth comb here was the best that left uh, grooves for the hair. You can do it uh, with a toothpick too if you like, but uh, I like to be fast at things. So what I'm doing here is just making sure that the ends are kind of feathered out so they don't uh, just suddenly stop and you have a, a hairline growing out of nowhere. So, And this stuff does dry clear. Um, basically so I can put it on wherever I like and the hair that's already applied will show through and I will be getting some extra little texture lines in there is what, uh, what this was all about. Here we have the end result. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up as well. You can see a little bit of a gold sheen there, which is kind of nice. But uh, there is a lot of nice texture, and it looks like just that little uh, baby hair that's uh, growing through, and it gives it quite a nice, uh, quite a nice look. And here I'm just taking a, a dagger brush, and I'm applying some matte varnish on there. Uh, the whole head is shiny from the uh, glue, so we're going to uh, just dull it down a little and uh, that gold will dull down a bit too. I didn't want to make a fairy doll, though it would look great if it was. And here are some pictures of some dolls that were done in the past as well. <music> 